Hello everyone. Today I'm going to review the round of 16 of Samsung Cup. The round of 16 was played over two days. Let me show you. This is the first day. Shin Jin Seo managed to get revenge for the last Asian games. He won against Xu Hong. Xu Hong is the number one in Taiwan. Gu Zhu Hao, the number one in China. He defeated Shin Min Jun. And Xu Jiayang won against Gang Dongyan. The young player from Korea, Kim Seung Jin, lost against Ding Hao. This is the second day. Park Jong Hwan defeated Tan Xiao. So he reached to the quarterfinals. Kim Myung Hun is in a very good shape these days. He defeated Hwang Won Sung. And Xiao Hao from China defeated Han Eun Gyu. So in the quarterfinal, Park Jong Hwan met Len Xiao. And Gu Zhu Hao will play against Xi Jiang. Since there are five Chinese players, so there is one game of China versus China. And Ding Hao met Kim Myung Hun. And Shin Jin Seo met Sher Hao. Okay, today I'm going to review the game of Shin Jin Seo. He played with Shi Haong. As you know, Shi Haong is the number one in Taiwan. The content is a very high level, so rather than discussing what was done well or what was wrong, let me try to interpret in my own way why the game was so tight and what part of Xu Haong made it so difficult even for Xin Jin Seo, okay? I think Xu Haong has a style that does not determine the shape clearly, so this kind of ambiguity makes Xin Jin Seo difficult to handle. It's very tricky, you know? You know, one of the most common strategies in handicap games is to highlight ambiguity. For example, in the handicap games, white player can play here. This is more tricky than this because this move has more distance, right? This distance is very far. So for black player, it is very difficult to handle, right? So this kind of move can increase the level of ambiguity. Does it make sense? I mean, Shin Jin Seo is also human, so the uncertainty could be the most difficult thing, even for Shin Jin Seo. Okay, let's get started. Shi Haung was black. Shin Jin Seo was white. Shin Jin Seo invaded at the 3-3. These days, I can see that many players don't play this crazy variation. Shin Jin Seo chose the simple way. And after approach, black exchanged this and went to the upper right corner. White captured and played this nice approach and cut here. Now black took this one stone. If white plays this Atari, black can start a call. Since black has a powerful call threat over here, so black can continue this call. Black has one more and more. White also has call threat, but after this, black can go here. Since black had already this part, so the damage is not that big, you know? So this is playable for black. So that's why Xu Haong played here. Because of this part, Shin Jin Seo couldn't play Atari. He had no choice but to capture this one stone. So the game went like this. We can see that Shi Haung is very intense, very 
fears, right? And this is the part that we can see that Shui Hong has a style of ambiguity, what I said before. Because with this move, Shui Hong could have played like this after this Atari, black and jump. But um, what about this variation? Now, later, black can aim at this kind of Aji. Then this is a call. So in the actual game, later, Shin Jin -so couldn't stand this Aji, this ambiguity. So Shin Jin -so tried to clean this Aji. Yeah, we will see. This is the actual game. Shi Haung doesn't play this kind of gentle move. He's very intense. So this is the actual game. Now, this is a very interesting part of this game. Why Black didn't play the normal joseki? This is the normal joseki, right? Let me show you. This is um, a bit difficult, but uh, let me quickly show you. Yeah, this is joseki. Now the corner is um, seki, and Black can play away. If the sequence goes like this, this is an even variation, but it seems like Shi Hong doesn't like this variation that much because Black has already strong ore here, so this distance is not that great. This is okay, but not that great, right? So that's why instead of playing the Numa Joseki, Shi Hong chose the intense variation that attacking these two stones directly. This is the actual game. This part was very difficult, so let me just pass. So this is the actual game. Why Shi Haung didn't play here? If black plays here, why can't exchange this? This is Sente. And why can't descend? Black cannot connect because this will be dead. White is ahead. You can see white can win this capturing race. So black cannot connect, so black should play here, then this is a call. So if the sequence goes like this, this is a literally chaos, you know? White is not alive, and black is not alive either. So it is so complicated. But this variation would have been better for black, because the actual game, Black managed to save the lower right corner, but this group is not attack cover. So since the lower group is okay, White is happy about this variation. So this is the actual game. Shin Jin -so answered and Shi Haung covered and the sequence went like this. This cut was very nice. If Black plays like this, Black can capture these two stones. But then this is Sente, so this group is just alive. Later, White has a potential one eye here, so this group is alive. So that's why Shi Haung played this move, and this is the actual game. Yeah, Black cannot save this one stone because White can push and connect here. This is Sente. And white can come out, and after this, white can capture these four stones. So black captured these two stones. Now white cannot block because now black can play honey here. Surprisingly, black is safe. White should reduce black's liberty directly, but after this Atari, black can connect, then white cannot capture. Black's group. So now Shin Jin -so played here and Shin Jin -so took care of this group with one more stone. With this fight, white gained a little bit, so now white is ahead like three or four points, but that is not that big, right? We can see that Shi Haung is slowly changing him. I think this kind of move is not that's special, but um, this kind of move is putting some pressure on Shin Jin -so because as you see, 
for now, white doesn't have to answer because this is the actual game. If black plays this cut, white can play here. Then there is this cut, so white has no problem, right? The opposite part is also okay because white can connect. Then in this case, white can come out and cut. Then we can capture these four stones. So for now, this is okay. But like the upper right corner, black has this move, right? Yeah, this kind of RG is just not comfortable, you know? This is the part where I can say Xu Haong has a style of ambiguity. Let's go back to the actual game. Look at this. Can you imagine how Shin Jin Seo felt about this move? If I were Shin Jin Seo, I was like, oh, what is this move? What does he want? What am I supposed to do? Does it make sense? This kind of move is so ambiguous, so um, tricky, you know? Looks like he's doing nothing, but he's doing something, like this move, you know? And furthermore, Shui Haong has always chosen tight moves from the beginning. So Shin Jin Seo probably must have been tired, right? So psychologically, Shui Haong is putting pressure on Shin Jin Seo. And he's playing this kind of tricky move, ambiguous move, uncertain move. This is the actual game. And look at this. What is this move? <laughs> uh, it reminds me of the strategy that in the handicap games I showed you in the beginning. This kind of move is difficult to handle, right? The meaning of this move is that if white plays this attachment, Black can play Hane and attach one more time from this direction. If white blocks, then black can play Atari. And this is good for black. Yeah, this is a very famous tactic. White is in trouble. So white cannot cover here. Then if the sequence goes like this, this is a huge success for black, right? What if white jumps here? Then probably black can fight like this. This is not easy, right? So Shin Jin Seo, the actual game, he chose this way. He determined the shape. You know, we can see that Shin Jin Seo couldn't stand the ambiguity and he started to determine the shape. So in this part, I think um, Shi Haung's strategy is working very well against Shin Jin Seo. At this moment, I could feel that it seems like Shin Jin Seo was anxious psychologically. What do you think? And look at this. This is kind of proof move. And Shin Jin Seo tried to resist. But actually, it was not a big deal. Shin Jin Seo could have answered like this. Then this is actually not a big deal. But um, like I said, Shin Jin Seo was anxious psychologically and um, he was not comfortable with uh, this kind of stepping back, you know? Because Shi Haung has always chosen tight moves from the beginning, like this and this cut and, you know, this kind of ambiguous move and this kind of tricky move and this move. So overall, Shin Jin Seo is not that comfortable, you know, so it caused this kind of unnecessary resistance. So the sequence went like this. Shi Haung managed to cut the lower part and this is the actual game. So after this, Shin Jin Seo went back to this part. But this is a big mistake for Shin Jin Seo because with this move, White could have played this cut. If White captured these four stones, this group is safe. 
that is a big deal. Then later I can invade the upper side more freely. And this group actually had this connection. So white didn't have to worry that much about this group. So white could have played like this. But Shin Jin Seo couldn't get this point, so he tried to connect, but looks like it is a bit passive, right? So Xia Hong managed to save these four stones. So now the game is very close. No white played here. Xia Hong answered just like this, but with this move, Xia Hong could have played like this. In this case, white has this stone, so this attachment is not working because white can extend. Then now this satari is not working because white can descend and block from the center. What about this cut? White has this stone, so white can fight. So in this case, for black, black can play this satari first, and then this is working. Like I showed you before, white cannot block here because black can play like this. So this is the best for white. Then why can fight like this? The upper group is not that easily because white has this tactic. White can make a call. So if black had played like this, it would have been a very complicated variation. Now the game is exactly 50-50. But Xu Hang answered, so white managed to clean this Aji. So now the game is slightly good for white. Xie Hong jumped here and now Xin Jin Seo tried to clean the upper right corner. We can see that Xie Hong tried not to determine the shape and Xin Jin Seo couldn't stand it and he started trying to determine the shape like this and this. It's interesting, right? And Xue Haong went to the 3-3. Three three. It was so big. Now Shin Jin Seo played this move. It was kind of overplay. Now uh, we can see that Xue Haong, his amazing style, managed to get some overplay from Shin Jin Seo. With this move, now white is slightly ahead. So for white, it was good enough, you know? White can just play gently, something like this. Later, why can exchange this? So, yeah, we can expect this kind of um, sequence. This is Sente. And now we can see that if the sequence goes like this, black can defend the, the upper side, right? How many territories? 10. This is almost 20. But uh, after this exchange, why can get the center? And this is Sente, right? This group is not that perfect, so why can't exchange this kind of move? Then this is good for the center, right? So overall, if the sequence goes like this, white is playable. But for Shin Jin Seo, this kind of judgment would have been very difficult, so he tried to break the upper side. But in the actual game, you can see that um, yeah, this kind of move is it doesn't seem to be a natural move, right? So the actual game went like this. Now, Xia Hong tried to attack the center group, but uh, this was his wrong choice. So for Xia Hong, he could have chosen this way. He can just let uh, white leave inside. Then, yeah, white can leave. But um, we can compare this diagram with the previous one. We can see that um, white managed to break the upper side. It was 20 points, right? Now this group is perfectly fine and white lost all center. Yeah. And now black got center, so black can play on this side. White cannot connect here because this is center. So if black and squeeze yeah this is a disaster for white so white should capture this then black can capture these two stones right so later black can um 
exchange this, this is sente, and black can jump this much. Then black can break the left side a lot. Then we can see that um, black gained this much, and black gained the center, and black managed to break this part, then it could be more than 20 points, right? So at this point, I, I thought like um, probably for Shin Jin Seo, he was not that stable psychologically, so he was anxious, so he tried to break the upper side um, directly. Otherwise, he could have played like this very calmly, you know, like um, this kind of way. Yeah. But um, he couldn't play like this because he would have been uh, anxious, right? So in that perspective, I think Xu Haong played very well because he managed to make Shin Jin Seo uh, anxious, you know? So for white, white didn't have to break the upper entire part. And conversely, for black, black didn't need to attack the upper side. I mean, black could have let white live inside. Yeah, it's difficult, right? But um, in the actual game, Shi Haung chose to attack the upper white group, but it didn't work well. So this is the actual game. Actually, this was a huge vital point because this is Sente and this pushes Sente. So white managed to connect clearly. So even um, after this capture, we can see that um, in the previous diagram, the upper side was about 20 points, but now this is less than 10, right? White managed to break the upper side, but in the meantime, black gained nothing. So that's why at this moment, white was leading by a lot, more than 7 or 8 points. So after this, there was no chance for Xu Haong. Actually, there was the last chance for Xu Haong that um, he could have connected here because this is a huge vital point. Then White can try to connect from this side. Then actually, there was this move. Locally, it was okay because if Black plays here, then after this push, White can block here. Then this is Sente, right? So in this case, A and B were me I. So we thought like this is alive, but we couldn't see this move. If Black can exchange this, then now the shape is very different because we got this exchange, right? So now this group is not alive, so Black can take away white's eye shape like this. So if black plays like this, then probably Shin Jin Seo could have chosen this way. This group is not gonna die easily, but this group is not gonna live easily. So it was exactly 50-50. But the actual game, Shi Haung missed this move. So when white played this move, game completely went to white's side. Alright, how was today's game? Today I tried to focus on how Xu Haung's strategy worked very well against Shin Jin Seo. From the beginning, I pointed out this move. It was very intense. And the second part is this fight. The reason why Xu Haung didn't choose this normal joseki he wanted to fight and we discussed about this kind of move looks like doing nothing but doing something and the part of shu haung that um he's aiming some aji it makes shin jin Seo feel uncomfortable and this kind of ambiguous move is very tricky one more and finally shin jin Seo tried to determine the shape and he tried to resist. It was not necessary. And after this, um, Xu Haung got some chance like this, you know. And 
now we can see that one more time that Shinjin is trying to clean the Aji and and at this part it was very interesting that um white could have played like this yeah the perspective of uh handling the thickness you know actually white was good enough with the center shape but uh probably due to psychological um anxiety shinjin so chose this way and Xu Haong could have uh, let White live inside with this move um, like this, you know. But of course, it was not easy. So finally, Shin Jin Seo managed to win this game. All right, uh, I think the content of this game is very high level, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!